Hello, today I'm going to draw a boxer. Uh, he's uh, in the ring, leaning against the uh, corner post, and uh, what I'll do is that uh, I'll do the drawing and then I'll redraw it a couple of times to show you how a cartoonist develops an idea to get humour out of uh, that situation. So let's go to the drawing board and I'll show you how it's done. Oh, and uh, thank you for watching. Okay, now let's draw a quick pencil sketch. And you'll notice uh, that I've speeded up this little section while I'm doing the pencil sketch in order to save time. Uh, when I get to the inking then stage, what I'll do is I'll revert back to normal filming. But uh, it all saves time, this little section. And you'll see uh, how I do the drawing when I ink it in. So here we go. There's the boxer standing at the corner of his ringside section. Right, now we'll revert back to normal speed. And I'm using a calligraphy, calligraphy pen which you can buy in any art shop. I like it because it gives you different strokes, wide strokes and uh, thin strokes. At the moment I'm using a thin stroke just by holding the pen at a certain angle. And here we have the boxer. Put a patch on his face and another patch there. Uh, just to show that he's looking a bit worse for wear after being beaten up by his opponent in the ring. So, do his shorts. And he's looking slightly toppy. That's the beauty of cartooning, you can uh, draw, draw him either fat or thin and this little chap's on the toppy side. And we'll have one of his boots undone with the laces hanging out. Just adds a bit more humour to the drawing. Here's his other boot. Let's do the ring ropes. And there's the corner post. And he's just waiting for the bell. And there we go, a couple of lines round his head to show he's in a bit of a daze. And what I'll do now is I'll add some water to the drawing. And the water um, mixes with the ink and uh, creates a nice shading effect. Just mixing. Uh, dumping the page and as you see it creates a nice shadow effect and we'll add a bit of colour now give them green shorts and this is just ordinary watercolour Okay, we'll add a, oops, too much water there. Let's take some of that water off. Uh, 
and we'll add a bit of flesh colour, brown. And there you have the uh, boxer. Sign my name. Oh, and we'll just add a bit of red. His nose bleeding, dripping down. So he's looking, looking slightly battered. Right, that's uh, the boxer. What we'll do now is I'll remove this drawing and we'll do a cartoon. So what I'll do now is do a pencil sketch. I'm slightly off frame here but I'm not going to move the camera. I'll move it down in a minute after I've done the pencil sketch. So here's another pencil sketch of a, of a boxer standing in the corner of the ring. It's almost identical to the one you've just seen drawn. There we go. That's about it. There's a rope of the ring and I'll just press a bit heavier now on the pencil and that will uh, be better when I'm shading it in. So I'm um, using a watercolour pencil in other words when I add water to these pencil marks it will create a shade So there's the boxing ring. Boxing glove, I should say, not ring. <coughs> and there's the Dewey Shorts. Let's move it down a bit there. You can see it better now. That's fine. And here's the boxer looking slightly apprehensive as he's going in to the next round. He's thinking to himself, oh, do I have to go in there? So, and now we'll draw his manager in the corner, giving him a piece of advice. And there's his hand round the boxer's shoulder. The other hand's on the rope. We'll give him a bow tie just to show he's a manager. And he's talking to the boxer. And now on the boxer we'll draw some footprints. There we are. Okay. Now let's see. And this is what he's telling the boxer. 
is his, here is his advice. He's walking all over you. Oh, well, there you go. Sign my name. Now we'll add, <coughs> excuse me, we'll add a bit of water to the sketch to give it a bit of depth. It's a bit off camera range, but I'll move it down in a few seconds. There we go. There's the ring. But the cartoon uh, is drawn and you see the joke. Bring it down a bit. There you go. He's walking all over you. Right. Now let's, let's draw another boxing cartoon. So here's one more cartoon. First of all, <clears throat> I'll do a boxer. The fight's finished and the boxer's standing there and in the middle is the referee holding up the arm of the winner of the fight. I'm, I'm drawing fast. I'll speed it up slightly in order to save time but uh, I'll slow it down when I start inking in. So there we have a boxer looking very battered with his arm in the air and now we'll ink it in and this particular boxer it's looking slightly perplexed. Not a mark on him. He's just been in this fight. There he is. There's his boxing glove. There's his little shorts. Um, as I say, there's not a mark on him, and the fight's finished. And he's looking puzzled. And here's the referee announcing the winner of the fight. Little bow tie. The boxing glove. With cartooning, you you don't have to be uh, an expert artist. Just get the idea of, of the humour. And there's uh, the boxer with two black eyes, hair all out of place. He's been battered in a daze, looking very sorry for himself. With uh, sticking plaster all over him. Shaky legs. He can hardly stand. And here's the rest saying that the winner is. 
And the cuss of humour is, how did he win when he got battered like that? And the other box, I can't understand it. Well, there you go. Sign my name. And what we'll do, we'll just add a bit of shading. It's just ordinary water, it's just mixing with the ink. So there you go, one cartoon about a boxer. Thank you for watching.